Hey there, everyone. You know who this is. This is your Yankee Otaku here with you, of course, your personification of excellence when it comes to um, sports talk here on YouTube here. It is November 16th, 2024, and we are going to get into... I got a couple of topics we're going to get into today. Of course, you know, college football, another college football Saturday, Ohio State. Uh, they're playing right now. They're defeating Northwestern 21-7. That game was at Wrigley Field, but... I want to get into what was last night, and also later on today, I'm going to give you my thoughts on SmackDown. Um, obviously, the whole world was watching last night, uh, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Um, I actually did watch it, and I I'm going to say it like this, and this is just my quick thoughts on the fight. Um, it's a money grab. That's what these fights are. It was a money grab. It was a spectacle. AT&T Stadium, the Billion Dollar Palace, Jerry's World, um, whatever you want to call it, and um, Jake Paul wins the fight, um, my scorecard, I had it 6-2 for Jake Paul, I gave Mike Tyson the first two rounds, and um, it's just what you expect to see a 58-year-old guy do, I mean, he was dominating the fight early, and by the time you got into the third round, that's when Tyson was starting to slow down and, you know, Jake Paul was dominating the fight. And I kind of felt like late in the fight, um, Jake Paul was just, you know, uh, taking his foot off the gas pedal. Knowing the fact that with Mike Tyson, the guy was fatigued. He, you know, a guy like Mike Tyson, 58 years old, should not even be. In the boxing ring, um, you know, that is a sport where you get a lot of concussions. And there was a lot of doctors that do YouTube last night. I know that guy that I watch um, when it comes to sports injuries. Um, I've shown his videos on here in the past. I was talking about it. was to, And with a guy that is 58 years old, your, your brain... Starts to decline in age. And then, of course, your body, you know, your muscles um, start to decline. But, obviously, the biggest story with that was Netflix. And Netflix kept crashing. And is this bad for what is going to happen because Netflix next month, they're going to have the two NFL games on Christmas Day. And then in January, uh, Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw is going to be on Netflix. So, is this bad for uh, WWE, especially with um, live television, a live three-hour show coming to Netflix uh, in 2025? I don't think so. Um. Because I can't imagine Netflix, they're going to get the same type of attention and interest that this fight had. Uh, of course, like I said, this was a spectacle. Everybody knows who Mike Tyson is. We all grew up, uh, us Gen X's, Gen Y's, we all know what the guy did, obviously. So, we know his accolades, we all know... And then the new generation of boxing fans as well. It This had 120 million viewers last night. This had more viewers than the Super Bowl. And I really feel that's why Netflix had its issues last night. Now, if this happens on Christmas Day, then I'm going to be worried a lot. Because then everybody in the IWC, everybody in the streaming world is going to talk about, oh yeah, um, this is going to be a failure for Netflix. Um, so, right now, I have to say things will be okay. Let's see what happens in December when um, you have those two NFL games. But if you do have the crashing issues that what you saw last night... I'm going to be worried as a consumer. And, and I mean, you look at 
how people watch their sports. I mean, I watch my sports on ESPN Plus, you know, my La Liga Soccer, um, Paramount Plus with the UEFA Champions League, U.S. Soccer, um, all of that kind of stuff. You know, Max, they're having sports on there as well. You know, they're going to have AEW in 2025. So, if Netflix can't fix that, then it's a failure on them. Let me all know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So, until then, I will have my Monday night, uh, Friday night SmackDown review in just a bit. Peace.